Welcome to Electron Online, and here's the next application of differentiation called Rolle's Theorem. You can see how there was a lot of thought put into the concept of differentiation and where there's certain places on the function where the slope can be zero. So Rolle's Theorem goes as follows. If we have a function f of x which just continues on the closed interval from a to b. So here we have an interval from a to b, including the endpoints. You can see how the function is continuous. Second, and if the function is differentiable on the open interval from a to b. So the restriction is that it needs to be, that we can take the derivative of that section on the function, not including the endpoint. So it was not necessary to be able to differentiate the endpoints of that interval. So on the open interval from a to b, it should be differentiable. And if, when you plug in the value for x equal to a into the function, and you plug in the value for b for x into the function, you get the very same y value. So the function evaluates exactly at the same value when you plug in a or you plug in b. In other words, they are at the same vertical height. If all those things are through, then Roll said there must be a number, let's call it c, between the interval, between a and b, such that when you take the derivative of the function at that location, you get zero. In other words, the slope will be zero. What he's saying is, if there's two points on a graph, and the function just continues between those two points and they are at the same equal height when you plug those values a and b into the function there must be some point in between them where the slope is zero and that makes sense it doesn't matter how you draw the function you can come down you can come up you can make it a straight line somewhere between those points a and b there's got to be some point on the function where the derivative is zero where the slope is zero and that seems quite obvious when you look at this graph right here and that is known as Rolle's theorem